The Blood Type Diet is based on a popular book published in 1996, which has since sold over 7 million copies. The idea is that our blood group reveals something about our ancestral dietary habits, and matching one's current eating to those habits help reduce our disease risk. Those with blood group O, the hunter, are advised to eat a high animal protein diet. The blood type A, the agrarian, a mostly vegetarian diet. Type B, the nomad, should eat a diet with lots of dairy. And blood type AB, the enigma, should eat somewhere between type A and type B diets. While a 2013 review finding no scientific evidence to support the proposed benefits of the blood type diet should have diminished much of the hype, internet articles providing advice for the diet keep showing up. So what do we believe? Well, we now have two well-done studies that I think can help us understand. The first looked at a cross-section of nearly 1,500 healthy adults, while the second followed 973 overweight adults for six months. They found that eating any of the blood type diets was associated with favorable results. But here's the catch. In both studies, when the diet was actually matched to their specific blood type, there was no association with these favorable effects. In other words, because all blood type diet plans were generally prudent diets that recommended a high consumption of fruit and vegetables and avoidance of processed food, they saw improvement. So a type B blood type could eat the type O diet and improve. The type AB person could eat the type A diet and see an improvement and so on. So this might be a case of misattribution where people are attributing their results to eating to their specific blood type. But based on this data, they could have chosen any of the four diets no matter their blood type. However, it should be noted that the type A or agrarian diet, mostly vegetarian, was generally better than the others. So I will call this one clarified because the diet might actually work for a lot of people who are currently eating unhealthily. But it appears to be because all four of these diets are considered prudent diets, and not because it has anything to do with matching to one's blood type. So at least for now, it appears that the blood type diet is just another way to stir one's blood.